In this quick video, we're going to talk about Medicare Flex cards that are available for Medicare members in limited situations. Hi, my name is Jamie from meetjamie.com. I'm an independent insurance broker, and my goal is to help people understand the Medicare program, how it works, and find the coverage that fits their needs. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me toll free at 1-800-974-0552 or visit my website at meetjamie.com. So right now during this time of year there's a lot of advertisements going out because it is the Medicare open enrollment and there's a lot of confusion with a lot of these ads. In fact CMS is trying to crack down on some of the misleading ads and confusing ads that are being sent out to Medicare beneficiaries. One of the things that people are inquiring about is something called a flex card. Um, and it's used as an advertisement and so many people are wondering what is a flex card? Well a flex card is first of all not affiliated with the Medicare program. Flex cards are debit cards that Medicare beneficiaries can use to purchase certain items like medical equipment, co-payments, deductibles, prescriptions, dental, vision, and hearing care, diagnostic services, and other medical expenses. So where do these cards come from? Well, these cards are issued uh, by private health insurance companies and they're connected with what's called Medicare Advantage plan and there are a limited amount of these plans and companies available. The other thing you have to keep in mind is that it's a debit card not a credit card meaning there is a limit on how much is going to be preloaded on that debit card. Again it's not a common thing. It's available on limited plans and you can find them in different places. Um, so a lot of people are wondering because of all of this advertisement and they keep hearing about all of the, um, these flex cards is um, can, how do I get one? Is it possible? So the thing you have to remember again is this is not part of the Medicare program. These flex cards are not part of the Medicare program. The other thing you have to keep in mind is that some ads, surprise, surprise, are misleading. They are available with a limited number of Medicare Advantage plans throughout the country. Again, these are not available from every company or even in every state. Um, you know, the, old, the age old adage is if it sounds too good to tr be true, it probably is. And in many cases, that could be said about these flex cards. Some advertisements claim a $2,800 benefit, but the average is closer to 500 Again, you want to read the fine print. And with the, when we say the fine print is brokers and agents, what we mean is the outline or summary of coverage. Again, they are not available from all companies or in all states. So typically with a Medicare Advantage plan, there are out-of-pocket costs that come with that plan for things like co-insurance, deductibles, co-payments. And so the reason that this is appealing to a lot of people is because it creates this idea that it's almost like free money. Well there's no such thing as free money right <laughs> and so you just want to be careful you want to contact um, an agent or Medicare you can research it on medicare.gov as well and again our job as agents is to help protect you the Medicare beneficiary from possible um, scams or misleading information the other thing to keep in mind is that if you have a Medicare supplement plan, also known as a Medigap plan, they do not, their flex cards are not available with a Medigap plan. Medicare supplement plans reduce out of pocket spending, whereas Medicare Advantage plans have out of pocket expenses. And so 
what happens every fall is one company is trying to get you to switch from one plan to the other. Sometimes there's a good reason for that, but a lot of times there isn't. And so how they do that is by marketing to you these flex cards. So you just really want to be on guard about that. Um, so if you are looking to save money on your Medicare insurance, there are simple things that you can do like shop your coverage at least once a year. If you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you can do that during the open enrollment, which is October 15th through December 7th. If you have a Medicare supplement plan, you can shop that coverage all year long. It's not restricted to an open enrollment period. If you do have um, the chance to shop or you want to speak to an agent or speak to someone to help you, you want to look for a balance of what you pay in premiums as opposed to what you pay out of pocket. So a lot of times people get enamored with what's called a zero dollar Medicare Advantage plan, which sounds great on the front end, but again, it has out of pocket expenses that you need to be aware of. The other option that you have is to consider a high deductible Medicare plan. And this is where you pay a mo lower monthly premium and then there's a annual um, deductible that you reach for that Medicare supplement plan. So again, these are just things to keep in mind when you're seeing all these advertisements all over and things to consider. Um, if Again, if you have questions or you uh, just want a simple uh, comparison of the coverage that you have, you can reach out to me again at 800-974-0552 or visit my website at meetjamie.com. If you enjoy videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you have questions about Medicare, ask them in the comments below and I might answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.